Hey everyone, it's Karen. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic week. I am so excited about today's video because I am collaborating with an amazingly talented artist called Massa. Um, she's also known as MM underscore nail artist, but I will link her channel below. Go check it out. She is mind blowing. Um, and we're going to be doing some watercolors as I'm showing you here. I have used these before. This is the Arteza, Arteza set. So um, these are metallic watercolors and that was our theme. Wanted to do a bit of a feature nail. So I have my tips all ready to go. Most of Mass's work is on the shorter nails. And um, so I thought I would do it on those this week. And jumping right in, I am going to be using a Smelly Cat from Madame Glam. This is a kind of creamy, um, not a creamy white colour, um, sort of more of that sort of warm ivory. It is lovely. I wanted a little bit of warmth to the base of these nails because I sort of decided to go down the, the root of, I suppose, sort of more tropical kind of themed. Um, with the watercolour being a feature nail so um, I wanted a nice base and this here is what I'm going to be using. I am going to be cheating a little bit because I'm going to be using these beautiful um, tropical leaves that will be, if they're not on the website already, they will be available within a few days of this video um, so you're getting a sneak peek of them. Um, but this is some base coat that I'm popping down and then as usual I just cut out my decal and using a little brush I dab some water onto the back of it and then I give it about sort of 10 seconds, remove that paper as you can see it just kind of slides off and then um, we're just going to go ahead and stamp it onto the nail. I always use a stamper for um, decal, I just find it easier placement, less faff. So, um, if you have a stamp and you haven't tried it before, I would say give it a go because decal application is so much better. And also don't forget to put a, um, a layer of base coat down and cure it because the decal likes to sort of to, to stick to that. If you know, it makes it so much easier for application. Anyways, moving on, I'm going to be using some gold leaf next and I haven't used gold leaf in I don't know how long, um, it seems almost a year or something like that, can't remember. But um, gold leaf is always beautiful, beautiful sorry, with these sort of um, tropical effect nails. It's just so rich, so opulent almost. Um, it just gives it a really nice feel. I love it. Um, I love combining this. So I've just um, sort of broke a little bit up and sort of smushed it around in the tray there and then just apply it and then obviously then just with a little brush I can remove bits, replace it sort of, you know, place them where I want to. Um, gold leaf can be a little bit stubborn but work with it, burnish it in and it will look beautiful. And then I'm just going to top coat that then with no white top coat just to seal everything in and pop it in the lamp for a cure and that's that design done. Okay, I'm moving on now to the watercolours and I'm going to be using these beautiful greens here. And what I do is I just dab a little bit of water into the colours that I'm going to be using. And uh, I just kind of dip them in and out. I sort of like, you know, push them around a little bit, give it, get it as sort of as creamy as I like. And then whenever I am applying it on the nail, if I want to add more water, I will add a little bit more then um, to where I've actually put them. But look at the colours. Um, like this metallic green just blows my mind. I wish you could see it in real life. It is so vibrant and has got such a beautiful sheen to it. Honestly, it just pops and is such a nice way to do nail art, whether it be marbling or any kind of like sort of effect or flowers or anything and if you go check out Massa's channel she has got so many tutorials on the like of watercolour, working wet, all that kind of thing um, creating beautiful textures. Some of her artwork is just amazing. Um, so yeah, go check out her channel because there's so much over there. Um, for you to have a look at if this is your kind of thing. 
So like I say, I have just been dipping in and out there to those colors. And I'm just kind of like placing them as and where. And then at some point then I'll dip into the water and just sort of like um, merge everything softly together. And oh, it's just so pretty. I wish you could see the sheen on it. It's just beautiful. Okay, so I am applying some base coat here because again, I want to edge with the gold leaf. Make sure that you um, cure your base coat for this here. And uh, even if you flash cure it, that's fine. And then you can go back in then for another cure or whatever. Um, but I just wanted to tie in a little bit of that kind of metallic from the other nails into this nail with some gold leaf, etc. So, and I press that down as I go along because usually if we put it in and then we start top coating over it, you want to make sure that everything's nice and flat so you don't have any lumps and bumps. It just gives you less kind of finish filing or anything like that there to do. So, um, so yeah, it keeps everything just nice and neat and compressed. So, um, but I just love that gold with the green. I don't know what's happening to me, honestly. If you'd have said to me a year or so ago about green nails, but I am all for the greens and I love this kind of watercolor tropical combination. It's just so nice. And um, so once I have done that and uh, put down all my gold leaf, then I could just press it down and then go in for a cure. And that's that nail done. Okay, and then on to the next design, and I'm going to be using Lonely Boy for this one. And um, this is just using my little ring palette from Painted and Posted. Um, this was a gift, but if you go on to their Instagram, um, check them out. They have got the most amazing palettes, etc. And they are a small business, so she's so talented. Her, her palettes and all her um, accessories that she makes are just amazing. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be, um, as you can see, I've put my little dots there to sort of guide me as I want to draw this smile line on. We're going for a green smile line. I wasn't too sure if I wanted to leave the green as is or if I should add some glitter to it. But I decided, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and add some glitter to this. Um, because I, I actually really liked it the way it was, but I thought... Do you know what, we'll just we'll add a bit of sparkle, why not? So... Um, what I've done is I've obviously matte top coated and um and that's what I'm applying um the lonely boy here on because it's less slippy and slidey, much easier to apply to matte um, and doing work like this here. So once I'm happy with that smile line and the curvature, etc. of it, then we go in for a cure. And then finally what I'm doing is I'm just using my um just the brush here of the gel polish. This is no white because I'm sugaring on um, some beautiful emerald glitter, which you will see in a moment. And um, yeah, so I'm just kind of like, I'm just putting that nice sort of like light layer on. I suppose you could do this here with the detailer brush if you wanted to, but um, I was happy enough just with a gel polish brush. And then just sprinkling that on, we're gonna go in for a double cure and uh, give it a brush. And then we'll see what the final sets like. Ta-da! There we go. That is our watercolour inspired kind of almost tropical theme nails with a little bit of sparkle. There's pretty much everything going on in this set to be honest with you. Um, and I think it works really, really, really well. I love all the different elements and designs. Um, so just I just want to say a great big thank you to Massa um, for collaborating um, with me on this. Go across, check out her video. I've already seen her design and wow, they are beautiful. So go check out her channel. It's linked below. Thank you so much indeed for joining me, guys, as always. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, say a little hello in the comments, and I'll see you all again next week. Bye.